Let's just take a second to appreciate the nature. Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 video. I know man, it feels weird for me saying it too. Um, so in this one, we are in the BMW M4 inline six by turbo. Now I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with all of you guys right now. Um, I am a big car guy and you know BMWs have never really done it for me. There, I said it. Um, mainly I think the fact of the matter is that I've really never driven in one or driven one enough to really appreciate them. Um, now with that being said, they have some of the most incredible um, powertrains and engines, obviously in racing, and um, the vehicles are obviously designed to go fast on the German Autobahn, so when it comes to top speed, the engineering is always on par. Now, I've been driving this BMW M4 here. This has the inline six. Um, what year is this here? A 20. 14 m4 coupe and i have to say man this thing has completely changed my mind now you can definitely tell that it has that inline six sound to it when you get on the gas and those turbos kick in it just sounds like a friggin super man once we get down here once we get to this intersection, we're gonna do a little bit of pull and I'm gonna just not Turn talk left. here. Just let you guys, sh I'm just gonna show you guys what I mean here. Let's do a little bit of a launch. Not gonna launch nothing crazy. Now if that is not a Supra, I don't know what is. Now, you know, over time, BMWs don't have the greatest reputation for reliability. Um, you know, they're, they're a lot of money um, when you have to maintain them and everything like that. Now, with that being said, if you own a BMW, the chances are you're probably not too, too worried about the maintenance. But if maintenance is an issue, I'd probably steer clear of any type of BMW um, really before, or sorry, after like 2000. Um, I think that's when things really start to get complicated with all of the crazy computers and the new technology that's been coming out. But I mean, if you have the money and you like can't find a Supra or a 2JZ, um, whatever, Soarer or Lexus, and you have a little bit of cash and you want something right out of the box this this i think is going to be it now i know the 335 eyes i want to say i want to say they share the same power plant um for those of you you bmw guys out there that are still even listening because i know I, I shit on you guys pretty good there at the beginning <laughs> all in good fun um but for those of you guys who know could probably tell me if the 335i shares this powertrain I don't see how it could because that would be kind of weird for them to have a M4 share the same powertrain as just a oh unavailable here been doing that every single time um, we are on the demo for Forza Horizon 3 it still hasn't come out yet if you guys are watching this video um, in the future and it's already out then uh, you guys probably have never seen that before so yeah, what was I talking about? BMW M4, yeah, it'd be kind of weird if they had the M4 with the same powertrain as just a 335i, but I'm not 100% sure, man. Uh, maybe that is uh, just an engine that they share with platforms, but I really don't know. Um, let's jump inside here, get a good look at the interior. Now, those gauges on the BMWs 
have not changed. Um, you know, from what I've seen, my cousin owns a 3 Series. I want to say a 328. And um, X, XI, is that the all-wheel drive? His is all-wheel drive. It's got the X drive. I know that. And uh, the gauges, man, they just, they, they, they share the same, um, I want to say basic, simple, but effective gauges in the BMWs. Um, you know, they're just proper. They do what they need to do. There's nothing crazy. Um, even in the 335Is, I follow a guy, Vince Garage, on YouTube. Um, just a small little YouTube channel. I fucked up again there. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to go on that dirt road. So we're going to continue down here. Let's set a waypoint. And, um, yeah, so basically this guy has a 335i, and it doesn't even have a boost gauge on it. Now, you can configure the, I think, the fuel the fuel uh, gauge to be a boost gauge. But from stock, it's a turbo car, but it doesn't have a boost gauge. So that just goes to tell you how, how much they want to have it simplified and stuff like that. Um... So yeah, I mean BMW definitely knows what they're doing, there's no question about that. I don't want to take anything away from BMW owners or people who really like BMWs. Like I say, I really just haven't been in them enough to appreciate the engineering and everything like that. Um, again, I, I'm a Nissan guy and I really like Nissan, so you can imagine if I got used to a BMW, um, you know how much I'd really like them but uh, yeah man this car I really like this thing sounds like an absolute monster I gotta say Let's get some drift happening here now when you shift that into uh, your drifting bang that into the gear It, it, the, the way that the wheels chirp on the ground is so realistic. Now, I've done a little bit of drifting in my G35. Um, haven't uploaded any videos yet, which I probably will be in the near future. Um, on my other main channel, youtube.com slash Denali. And it's like really super realistic. Um, if you're chirp, like if you're spinning the wheels, and you're like you're banking off the rev limiter and you're not in a high enough speed and you go into a higher gear oh my god that guy would have just killed me would have just killed me right there in the middle of my story nobody would have even known except for maybe that previous driver um so yeah just re really realistic when you bank it into a gear and it kind of either bogs down and you get a little bit of clutch slip or the wheels chirp and hook up just completely blown away with this game. Um, let's get. Lots of exhaust backfire. Not much turbo spool though, or turbo blow off valve sound, I should say. Lots and lots of backfire. I am loving this car, man. This thing is an absolute gem. Um, if you guys want to see more Forza Horizon 3 videos and you're not already subscribed, um, definitely do so down in the comments section. We're just going to hop in this little garage here. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill me too. Um, we're just going to hop in this driveway here, post up, and uh, maybe take a little bit of a photo shoot here. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see more Forza Horizon 3 videos and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely do so because uh, when it comes out officially, we're going to be going ham, man. You guys are you know, probably actually going to get sick of all the videos that I'm going to be posting. But that is okay, man. That is what we are here to do. That is what we are here on YouTube for. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, definitely don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys, uh, you know, want to refer a friend, you get 10% off discount on uh, Pats on the Back. Definitely refer a friend. Share it to your local social media page, Facebook, 
Instagram maybe. Maybe you take a little screenshot. Hey, man, you know what? I'm, I'm not really that big, so I don't mind if you, you know, screenshot some shit and shout out your boy because, you know, that gets me a few subscribers and stuff like that. Hey, you know, I kind of like that, man. So I would much, muchly, muchly? Is that a word? I would greatly appreciate a shout out uh, any way possible, man. So with that being said, once again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I think I said once again quite a few times, which is what I do. Um, this intro, actually, at the end of this video, um, created by Epic's Wheels. Check out his channel. That's why I always say, hit it, wheels! Oh, oh, no! Oh! For fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. I had a V8, yeah? <laughs> oh, 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 Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore. 